I thought I'll start with a quote from uh, Tom Friedman. Uh, most of you know, probably know Tom Friedman. He wrote a book, The World is Flat, just around the dot-com boom time, which was very, very popular. Uh, he's a New York columnist. And he recently wrote, we're in the middle of a change in the climate of technology. Uh, we're moving into a world where machines and softwares can analyze, optimize, prophesize, customize, digitize, and automate just about any job. And this is transforming every industry. And I'm sure all of us can experience in, every, in our everyday life. You know, simple example, to come in here today, I would probably, I checked into my Google map yesterday to see if I have to come in here by 7 a.m., what time I should start. And based, it applied its algorithm and technology to, and patterns to say, you know, what time I should start with a variance of about 30 minutes. But because I connected it to my calendar, you know, it started prompting in me since morning to what time I should start because now it has access to real-time data and it knows, you know, when do I have to start and in case if something changes, it can give me an optimized route on the way. So the connectedness of experience is important. I think the point I'm trying to make is, number one, we are living in a world of machine first, uh, both in a personal life as well as in a professional life. And secondly, uh, to deliver a quality of experience which is consequential, you know, the ability to analyze, ability to optimize, ability to predict, and ability to take actions. You know, the, it, the interconnectedness is key uh, to deliver superior experience. And we, have, we believe that you know, the, the businesses need to adopt the same. In a business 4.0 world, the, it's a machine-first world that we're living in. And we think the cognition and automation needs to be combined. There needs to be an ability to build a contextual awareness in an enterprise, you know, whether it's between my business to business processes to application to infrastructure so that I have a context, not just based on the historical data and patterns, but also based on the real-time events and situations. So I can make sense out of it. It's important for us to understand the change, understand the impact of the change, and, and that situational awareness is, is key for providing accuracy uh, in our recommendations. It's important to be able to analyze effectively to do both what we call the what if, and if what analysis, our ability to predict what will happen if there's a change or an incident that takes place, but also our ability to recommend that you know, if that happens, how do you resolve the problem? And then our ability to actually use the atomized skills and then compose them on the fly to provide an experience which is contextual to the problem rather than have a fixed script or a fixed approach to a problem. And the interconnectedness of that is key. And we at Digitate built our entire business on that philosophy. Everything that we do in our products, everything that we do is around those four parameters, whether it's with respect to workloads or whether it's with respect to AI ops or the digital workspace or SAP ops or cognitive procurement. The, uh, so we combine uh, the contextual intelligence. Uh, we come to deliver you know, what more accurate and understanding of the normal behavior of an enterprise. It gives us a much better ability to detect an anomaly and to be able to forecast the impact much more accurately than anything else and to be able to make sense out of it. Because we have skills to execute, it also allows us to understand what are the options that one, one could explore, what are the probable cause, and then the recommendations to be able to fix and then go ahead and self feel it. I'll take an example of uh, the workload. You know, I think as we all probably know, the, uh, our IT is a composition of transactional processing systems and systems which are running workloads in the asynchronous fashion. And we have the complexity of an enterprise. You know, we have the scale issues. And, we, and then you know, we, have, we need to have an ability to respond to a business problem. So workloads, typically in any large enterprise, they run into hundreds of thousands, if not millions. The, uh, they're highly interconnected. A simple example, like our product information 
could form a part of many different jobs and they made and many different correlations, whether it's with respect to e-commerce, supply chain, product lifecycle management. And they would be running in different sequences, different times of the day, different frequencies, different, they would be triggered by different events. The relationships are complex and they're always changing depending on how the enterprise business is performing. And being able to make sense out of all of this today is difficult and most of the enterprises at best react to the situation. And mind you, these are problems that impact us day in, day out. I mean, if you're in online banking and if the service, certain service is down, your contract may say something online, but if, it's, if it doesn't come up in 10 to 15 minutes, Twitter starts lighting up. If I'm a merchant you know, for a credit card company and if I, my payment doesn't come on time, it's an issue. These are all real life, real life examples which are impacted by our inability to perform certain jobs on time. And uh, so what we've done is that, you know, the combining all those four capabilities, uh, you know, I think uh, we, we have built the ability where you can uh, predict, uh, you know, in terms of not only you can build a relationship based on contextual intelligence, you can also predict in terms of what would happen if there's a, if there's a change in the enterprise. We can adapt to those changes in a much more meaningful fashion. And we can also you know, prevent those changes from happening. And uh, I think we have a session later in the day, uh, given that I have only five minutes here. Uh, I think at 11.05, my colleague and our CTO, uh, Jayanti, would go through uh, probably a lot more detail in terms of how are we addressing the complexity in workload automation uh, with machine learning. I would encourage each one of you to join that. Thank you very much.